Welcome back to Let's Play Resident Evil 4 Separate Ways with me, Jerupidus. What's the news on our friend, Leon? He's not making it easy. The sample? Sadler's got it. It seems he sniffed out our little game. Perfect. Just so we understand each other clearly, I don't trust you, nor does Wesker. If you try to do anything clever, I will kill you. Is that so? You know, I met Wesker long before you. We'll see soon enough if you did. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> Quite a jolly mess he's made, that Leon. But all for the better. Sadler's people have fallen into a panic. Their destruction is only a matter of time now. Once he gets Ashley back, his job will be finished. He'll no longer be a factor. No, I'm leaving Leon to Krauser. Hurry up and retrieve the sample. Maybe you forgot, Wesker. I don't always play by your rules. <laughs> All right, we're in chapter four, and I just realized that Wesker sounds like Bane from the Dark Knight movies, and now I can't unhear that. <laughs> Quite a jolly mess he's made Welcome. of things. Got a selection of good. What are you selling? So anyway, we got the merchant right away, so let's go ahead and sell what we can. Ah. <laughs> Is that all? <laughs> And we have to stop Leon from being assassinated by Wesker. What are you buying? And we have a ton of extra money, so let's go ahead stranger? and buy the treasure map for this area, because we can. You. We have very Come little else to do with our money. And let's make sure we're reloaded up, because we will need to be. And so this chapter is where things really start to pick up with this uh, side mission thing. Um, this is a wholly original area, an original new song. It's really sweet. interesting choices I think they make is how close in proximity to the merchant you end up in combat in. Well, I missed that barrel shot, and now I got this guy in my face. Looks like a bunch of them survive. Let's see if we can hit the shot this time. Nope. But fortunately for me, he's just grenading his friends. And I'm not gonna take a risk on trying that shot again. Doesn't seem like I'm capable of hitting those today. But it's no big deal. drop that guy and we can hook shot in these areas up here and do some looting and the way she does the flip at the top of those is just so badass I love it I could have sworn you could jump down from here but it looks like you can't
All right, and with that, let's move on in the area. And now straight in front of me, you can see that golden link's shining there, but we can't get to it from here. So we're gonna have to go around. Just gonna make sure he doesn't get that shot off on me. We have a few guys rushing in here. Let's drop this one. Slow him down, and then I think we can just grenade these guys. Because we're not really going to need our grenades for any particular reason. Pretty much for the rest of the uh, separate ways. And that breathy sound they throw in the... Uh, Pump and jam they have playing for this part is real sweet to me. So you'll hear an archer in the distance, so I'm gonna stay behind cover here. There we go. I wanted that headshot bad. Watching those guys' heads explode will never get old to me. They fill me with gamer rage. <laughs> so in order to get that uh, shiny golden lynx, we're going to have to come through this way. And I want this guy to follow me this way a little bit so I don't drop him into the pit there. Because when we come down here, there's immediately going to be a guy in the room with us. And having to deal with this guy at the same time as an armor guy is a little annoying. And with that, we can come out here and find our kitty. And these are explosive arrows, and they are, like, right next to some flames. Seems rather dangerous, but it ends up being fine. All right, now with all that out of the way, we can hook shot up here and get out of this area. Let's just make sure we're reloaded up. And now over to my left, you might notice a gigantic battleship. And if you're thinking, that looks crazy, I wonder what's going to happen with that. Well, just you wait. So in front of me is going to be this gun battery here. It requires activation key blue to work. So I'm going to need an activation key. But what would I need a gun battery to work for? All right, I want this grenade. And there's just no way to make it fit, huh? Hmm. All right, well, I've got an idea. We'll just go ahead and use one of these. Increase our health bar, because why not? And here we go. So in front of me is the key card, and about a hundred machine guns and explosive things are pointed at us, and a hundred guys just ran in the area. And I'm gonna go ahead and book it over here, because this is a relatively safe area. There's no way in around behind me.
Okay. Now that all those guys are dispatched, I can uh, loot behind me. And now, while I think this is a great action set piece, the problem I have with it is that the first time you play it, it's not super clear where in relation to you the blue key card is or where any of the cover areas are. Most of the time in an area like this in the main campaign, they'd give you kind of an overview of the area to sort of help you get your bearings. So the first time you play this, you'll probably just die arbitrarily a few times just figuring out the geography. Um, which is kind of frustrating. So I'm going to wait for that thing to shoot. And then we're going to book it. That is not good. Will I make it? Yes. Okay. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get in this gun battery. And while we're in here, we're totally safe to just hold down on the trigger button and kill everybody we see. And I'm just going to kill all these enemies just because I can, because it's just fun to do. Anybody else want some? Okay, that's enough of that. Actually, let's take out that Quagga one, if we can. And when I blow that final one up, it's gonna blow up my gun battery. And activate that sort of uh, Donkey Kong lift system they got over there. I'm just going to go ahead and snipe these guys because I can. We are going to miss those drops, but it's not going to matter. And I just want to make sure I didn't miss anything over here. I don't think so, but... Never hurts to look. All right, let's continue on. So we're going to have to get over to the other side. I have a lot of extra flash grenades, it looks like. Space is tight. All right, now that we got that stuff, let's jump on this lift. Well, <laughs> I thought I'd be able to shoot and get off, but I was wrong. So we'll ride it around one more time. And while we're doing that, I just want to say that uh, I will probably be nitpicking this scenario, you know, at least a little bit the whole time. But I hope it doesn't sound like I'm just poking holes in it and that it's not good or anything. It all comes from a place of love. What I really mean to compare it to is just the absolute genius that the main campaign is in the hands of Mikami. And while this is good, it of course just doesn't really compare to his absolute genius ability to design a game. Frickin' archers, man. We'll leave that for just a sec.
I need the inventory space anyway. Wow, they all survived that. <laughs> That's just great. Come on, there we go. Okay. So before we head out, let's go ahead and break this box. We'll just heal up a tiny bit. Bolgon bolts, that's always nice. Oh, I see some guys waiting up there. Why don't we go ahead and snipe them? He's got a helmet on. But I bet the shield guy does not. Maybe he does. All right, and this part is unbelievable. <laughs> That's right, that gun is pointed right at my face. And there are a whole lot more guns coming. And we're gonna have to hookshot our way out of here. to make our way all the way back across to get to that red gun battery. And of course, the second I step out of cover, I get shot. So let's go ahead and increase our life bar. And here's our red key gun battery. This one's gonna be the explosive shot one. And we're doing some damage now. And we're on a little bit of a time limit. So we wanna make sure we take these out pretty quickly. Namely that one, cause that's gonna be the one that's in our way. Don't think you can blow that one up. Let's try to take out some enemies while we can. And that's gonna be all of the uh, opposing guns. You wanna make sure I grab that healing because I need it. Oh, that's a shame. Oh, that is so lucky. Oh no. <laughs> There's a lot of them. 
All right, let's flash grenade it. Just so we can get some space here. And while we're on a time limit, it is pretty generous. Like, we're gonna make it with plenty of time here. But I do wanna make sure I've got my full running speed. And what we need to do is take this back to the other side. What? <laughs> that has literally never happened before. Okay. Well, that was interesting. And we're not going to worry too much about fighting. We're just going to go ahead and make it there on time. Alright, I've had to use quite a few healing items, so I need to start playing better if I'm going to have enough healing for the final boss. And with that, the battleship explodes. And the Los Illuminados are all like, you sunk my battleship. <laughs> I thought of that joke probably during episode one, and I've been waiting this long to say it. And now you had to listen to it. I hope you're happy. All right, more bowgun bolts. And with that, we can get out of here. And here is a merchant friend. Welcome. Got a selection of what are you selling? So we'll see what we can sell, but I don't think he's got anything new. Is that all? <laughs> Thank you. What are you buying? And if I can, yeah, is I'm gonna go ahead and buy some first aid spray. <laughs> Thank you. Come back at He will only sell me one, but a couple of full heals is better than nothing. Let's see if there's anybody I can see that I can assassinate. Does not look that way from here. Okay, good. Took out the archer. I hear something, but I don't know where he is. Well, we're just gonna keep going. Must be locked from the other side, huh? Well, that means we've gotta jump down. But I'm gonna make sure it's safe to do so. Looks okay. I want to take out these guys up top. Don't 
don't like my spot here. So let's run away. I am lucky he missed that shot. He is never throwing that dynamite. <laughs> Just not planning on it. But I'm okay with that. Oh, I didn't want a hook shot just yet. That's okay, we'll jump back down in a sec. All right. Now we can hook shot up there. Could say with the handgun. Got most of them actually, that's nice. There's our green stone of judgment. And that's all I want in here. Oh, there's an archer up top? Of course there is. Man. They really got me with that one. But that's okay. We're still in the green. Could be worse. Kick that open. Man, is there any way to ever get to the... Oh, I see. Huh. Well, I don't want to break one barrel bad enough to go back. Close, so I had to be quick with that. Glad I got him on time, though. And now we find ourselves in the area where uh, close by Krauser is going to try to assassinate Leo. But first, we want to pop in here for some treasure. Get a redstone of faith. Some more bolts. Grenade, nothing wrong with that. A few pesetas, and I think that's everything in here. Is this an ashtray? <laughs> yeah. 
yellow herb. And then here is where uh, the bulldozer, the bulldozer is broken. Must be Leon's handiwork. Very astute. Although it's more Ashley's fault than Leon, but uh, definitely they work together to destroy everything in that area. All right, let's keep it moving. I wonder if I can get a look. No, not quite. Does not look that way. I was just curious. Now, you know, we haven't used the TMP in a while. Oh, that's a shame. Do I have a flash grenade? Of course I do. Wonderful. There's a green herb. We can combine that up with our... Uh, or a yellow herb, I should say. We can... What am I trying to say? We can combine the herbs. <laughs> Let's check over here. Kind of shockingly to me, they don't put an enemy in this room. A lot of the other treasure rooms, they just stick an enemy in there. Which I think is kind of just their whole uh, ethos for creating this. Just stick an enemy in there. up here. A few handgun bullets. Sure, why not? And I'm gonna break these just because I can. Ha <laughs> ha! Breaking stuff. Now, if I've come this far, that means I missed something. So let's back up just a bit. Yeah, it's gonna be right over here. Blue stone of trees, and that's what I wanted. And that's going to finish up our kitty. Making him into the prettiest kitty. Okay. And now just up above us, we can hear Leon doing battle with Krauser. Which means his assassination is going down right now, so we gotta get up there. in the red dress. Looks like we have the upper hand here. <laughs> you may be able to prolong your life, but it's not like you can escape your inevitable death, is it? You knew each other? More or less. Maybe it's about time you told me the reason why you're here. Maybe some other time.
And that's the end of the chapter. Let's go ahead and check out the cutscene after. Leon S. Kennedy, perhaps the most essential part of this mission. This story wouldn't be complete without him and his formidable survival skills. He has what it takes to survive against overwhelming odds. I've seen him do it before. And he's improved since then. Practically a genius, he has smarts and he knows how to use them. On top of that, his service as a government agent has toughened him up. I'll work behind the scenes to make him think he's the primary player here. Though it may be naive of me to think that'll be easy. Considering the involvement of both Sadler and Krauser, the possibility of unforeseen problems is there. But I need him in the supporting role for me to achieve my goals. I'll do whatever it takes to keep him in his place and make this all go smoothly. Of course, his role didn't exist at all until a few months ago. Back then, my role was much simpler too. But that was before the President's daughter was abducted and Leon was dispatched alone to find her. Talk about a major script revision. I don't think I need to worry. Leon's been through worse and always comes up smelling like roses. His consistent luck is part of the reason why I have absolute and unshakable faith in my vision of what's in store for him. All right, let's flip through this text quick. And that's going to be the end for today. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.